Hello, I'm Luke Turner. I'm the Olmsted County Elections Manager. Today, I'm excited to give you a behind the scenes look at some of our elections processes. Staff is preparing for the upcoming elections and they're getting packets ready to send out to voters who requested absentee ballots by mail. We're going to talk a little bit more about what exactly happens in our office as those ballots come back to be processed later on. Absentee balloting begins 46 days before an election and runs to the day prior to an election. There are several ways we can receive an absentee ballot at the Olmsted County Elections Office. Those can come from absentee voting in person or via envelopes from the mail. Envelopes you receive in the mail can come back to us by the U.S. Postal Service. Also, absentee ballots can be returned in person to the Olmsted County Elections Office or to the Information Desk at the Government Center. Once ballots come back to us, they're always accompanied by two members of the elections team and they are stored securely each day. The absentee ballot board meets to complete a process called ballot boarding. Two people examine every ballot. They check each ballot to ensure each voter has a single absentee ballot. During ballot examination, staff are looking for things like identification numbers or signatures to ensure the person whom the ballot was issued to is the one who voted the ballot. They're making sure the envelope hasn't been tampered with and then the ballot board members initial or stamp each ballot and record it into the statewide voter registration system. Every morning election staff run a report of everything that's been accepted into the statewide voter registration system so far for the election. They then reconcile the number of ballots in the ballot room to ensure it matches the numbers from the report. 18 days prior to the election, teams of different people can begin opening the signature envelopes that contain the ballots. Every signature envelope is first separated from the secrecy envelope and then the signature envelopes are removed. This ensures the secrecy of each individual ballot. Afterwards, they open the secrecy envelopes and separate out the ballots. They will ensure those ballots match the correct ward and precinct, straighten them out, and initial the top of each individual ballot to prepare them to be centrally counted. Our central count tabulation machine uses similar technologies as to what you're used to seeing at the tabulators at your polling location on election day, but they can read and process those ballots at a much higher speed. The central count machine has functionality that will recognize certain issues with the ballots. It'll separate out anything that the machine can't read properly. For instance, a ballot may have a tear in it as it comes back from the mail. It will also sort out the write-ins that need to be manually tabulated later into a separate bin. For any ballots that could not be properly read, they'll be sent through a duplication process. The duplication process is done by two election judges. They take the information from the defective ballot and transfer it onto a new ballot that can be read by the machine so those votes are counted. The process of running the ballots to the central count machine will take place multiple times as ballots come in throughout the week leading up to election day. Results are not generated until after closing polls at 8 p.m. on election night. After our absentee ballots have been processed and tabulated, those results are then combined with the election day results and the absentee in-person results to see those results that you see at the bottom of your TV screen on election night. Results are then certified by our canvassing board and the official results are then solidified. Thanks for taking the time to learn more about how absentee voting works in Olmsted County. If you have questions, please give us a call at 507-328-7650.